hi everyone welcome to my channel it's timmy banjo here i am a youtuber in lagos nigeria and today i am going to be showing you guys keto weight loss drinks or you can also call them um, anti-inflammatory drinks which you can also have if you aren't on a keto diet so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching okay before we jump right into this please give this video a thumbs up and share this to everyone who would like to have good drinks even when they are on a keto diet so my first drink is going to be zobo and i have my zobo leaves here they call it hibiscus leaves i have cloves i have ginger and i have cucumber and all this i'm going to be using to make my zobo drink but first i'm going to rinse this properly because we don't even know where it's coming from we don't know you know the genuity and so on and so forth so i have to give this a very good rinse make sure you take your time to rinse out your hibiscus leaves as you can see me do and you can also see there are shafts in it shafts or shafts <laughs> whichever one it is <laughs> there is shaft there i'm sorry and i'm going to mix this i'm going to rinse this sorry i'm going to rinse this properly and you know make sure i don't see any stone sand or anything whatsoever inside it and i did this about three to four times back and forth just to make sure it is clean enough to boil and as you can see in the bottom of the um plate you see sand and residue of um just sand like very dirty things there that i showed you guys so i can now feel comfortable enough to transfer this into my pot to start cooking and i'm not going to add a lot of water because i want it to be very very thick very rich and the texture to be very very um thick like a thick consistency but if you want it to be thinned out you can you know add some more water but i wanted it to be thick because <laughs> i always feel like i'm taking ribena now even when i'm on a keto diet you know the idea is not to feel like you're in bondage <laughs> when you're on this diet so i um, added a little bit of water and this is very healthy for you you can see i'm adding ginger to this now and also some cloves i'm not going to put in the cucumber now because it's going to be very soggy and the flavor might just disappear or boil out so i'm going to put the cucumber towards the end of the boiling i'm going to transfer this to the fire now and i'm just going to quickly highlight some benefits of um zobo It's very good for the body good in detoxifying and whenever it's the point where you get to have keto constipation this is one drink you should go for because it does a very good job it clears your colon i mean it cleans everywhere in your bowel area and i added my cucumber now because this is where it's um already done but you know i just wanted it to boil a little bit more so the cucumber can give it a little bit of flavor also so once this is done i'm going to um take this off the fire and you know strain it or drain it into a jar and <laughs> you guys i am prone to spilling there's no how i can pour something or anything that it wouldn't spill i have tried and tried and tried but you know i have accepted my lot and it's not bad to spill things the most important thing is to clean up whenever you spill okay so next i'm going to use my spoon to press out the remaining juice inside that because definitely there's going to be juice inside the remaining hibiscus leaves hibiscus leaf is also zobo leaves so feel free to call it hibiscus leaves or zobo leaves so that is what i have in my jar now mind you this is very hot so i'm going to leave this to um cool down and once it cools down i'm going to start serving so i'm going to add um cinnamon to this to give it another pop of flavor this is very optional but if you aren't on a keto diet some people use um pineapples they use apple to spice it up but for the sake of keto i can't do that so i'm going to add sweetener to my um zobo now because i can't use sugar you can use the little or everything no there are so many other you know zero calorie keto compliant um sweeteners you can use but i am using um sweetener for mine and i'm just going to give this a good mix and 
once it tastes fine i'm going to leave it to cool down before i can you know spice it up a little bit more so once it cools down i'm going to pour it into my glass cup for saving and <laughs> after i spilled i gave it another try thinking i was going to do it better and guess what I spilled it again, even worse than the first time, and I just gave up and said, you know what, <laughs> uh, it's not bad to spill, as I said earlier, just make sure you clean up after you spill, and <laughs> nobody's perfect, just, you know, try and make it look perfect as you want it to look like. So I'm going to put in some strawberries, some people blend in strawberries and mix with the drink, or even blueberries, but... I didn't want to go through that stress so i just you know used it to um top up the drink and as it soaks into it it's going to give it its own flavor separately and it still does the same trick all right so this is my zobo it is done and this tastes so good if you're on a keto diet make sure you try this you won't feel like you are on a very restricted diet so my next drink is a lemonade <laughs> how will you be on a keto diet without having lemonade i like i said you can have this even when you're on a regular diet if you are not even on a diet at all you can have this so i'm going to squeeze my lemons and i'm doing this inside a plate because i don't have that strainer or that lemon squeezer that people use now I don't know what to call it but this is one i'm using and it's going to work fine for me and notice i didn't throw away the lemon zest or the many parts of the lemon body because i was going to use it to make um water what's it called um, detox water yeah detox water so i added a generous amount of water that about 500 ml of water and stevia to the lemon that lemon juice i had i gave this a good mix and i'm going to show you guys the funnel i use it has a strainer down there so whenever i pour anything into it it strains it away so this is so good very comfortable to use and i got this for i think 500 naira in the market where i work in okari so after mixing this i'm just going to you know strain it into my cup and give it a good serving so i'm going to be serving this with obviously a lemon slice and here is my lemonade very very easy to make once you squeeze lemon and i have lots more in the cup that i stored in the fridge that i can have any other time i just feel like taking a drink my next um drink is a mojito <laughs> so i'm going to have lemon slices cucumber slices and a generous amount of mint leaves for a very 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 minty flavor and i saw this recipe and the person used i can't, I can't remember maybe like a um something alcoholic and you know you know what i can try this with um coconut water and see how it comes out or i can even try it with soda water but i'm trying to keep it as natural as possible so i didn't use um the soda water i used coconut water instead and i got this coconut water from one woman on the road i saw her selling coconuts and i asked her if she could make um coconut water for me so i had to wait she broke about 12 coconuts um coconuts yes 12 coconuts and pour the water for me so i came back home with a bottle of coconut water for i think 500 naira and you're just going to mix this generously into each other and try to squeeze out the flavor and if you have time you can leave it soaked there for about two to three hours and you're just going to have a pretty 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 minty drink if you like and if you don't like just add a little bit of um, mint leaf or mint leaves so i'm just giving this a good mix and a good shake i'm sure there will be a like a dedicated tool they used to mix this or they used to you know squeeze out the flavors but <laughs> i had just my spoon so i had to make use of that and i'm going to sieve this again into my cup and it tasted so good so if you're out there you can try this with soda water you can try this with ordinary water and you're going to have a burst of flavor 
and if you can spice it up with something else let me know i'm thinking you can put ginger in it but i didn't try that it even occurred to me it was later it, it occurred to me that i could even put ginger into it and here is my keto mojito <laughs> that rhymed keto mojito <laughs> okay so i think we've pretty much come to the end of this video and obviously you liked it you watched it up to this point please give this video a thumbs up it lets youtube know that this video is doing very well and if you made it to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads and remember i said even if you're not on a keto diet you can have these drinks it's very good for your body detox Defies, energize and refreshes you so thank you so much for watching guys see you in my next one bye